Greetings, everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the Whole Truth Program, coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Smith. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, once again, we want to thank you. Lord God, we want to thank you and magnify you for your great and mighty power. Lord God, we want to thank you for allowing your people to enter to the house of prayer once again, that we may pray and call on your mighty name, my God, that we may be delivered from this present and evil world. Lord God, we thank you for the opportunity to hear your great word, my God, as it go forth. My God, we pray that it prick hearts and minds everywhere, my God. We pray, Lord, that you give men and women a mind to repent of their many sins. My God, help them to be buried in water in thy precious name. Lord God, to call on your name, my God, until you fill with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, help them to continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking the bread and fellowship and in prayer. Lord God, we pray that you bless the man of God. My God, God, that you bless his mouth, my God, that the word go forth with boldness and power. My God, we pray, my God, that you strengthen him. Anon him, my God, with your great word, my God, which is able to change a heart from darkness, my God, and draw them into the light. Lord God, we pray, my God, that you continue to bless the sick, to shed in the burden down in trouble. Lord God, we pray that you help them to look to the hills from whence cometh their help. My God, we know that our help cometh from the Lord, that made heaven and earth. I continue to bless the church, help it to be a beacon of light to all the world, my God, that it may shine in darkness, and darkness comprehend it not. These and all blessings we ask in the great and mighty name of Jesus Christ, to the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to the Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website, for additional church information, such as beliefs and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. All are cordially invited with us in these great spiritual services in the Lord, again, if it is the Lord's will. Now, at this time, the Papa render a selection entitled Give God the credit. He's God in the small, the place he in the sky. He's at the moon and the stars on high. He passes out a blessing to one and all. Give God the credit. He got it.
Pastor and General Overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tidley. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We do greet everybody with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. We are thankful again to be able to place our voices on the ways of the air yeah. to bring you the truth about God's plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. God has not given us a confused plan. No, no. He has given us a plan of salvation that a fool would not err therein. Yeah. It's not, not contrary. Amen. It is one plan of salvation. And many people are the, today, you, you are not hearing about the one plan of salvation as you should. The Bible tells me that many false prophets are going to rise. Amen. And they are going to deceive many. Many, many. Many people are going to be deceived because of the seem right way. Yes. But God's plan of salvation is not confusing, I say, in it. Mm -hmm. God clears the way for you because he came and he did it himself. Yeah. Amen. I don't know why you people won't realize that Jesus Christ is the only wise God, our Savior. That's right. He being God himself in the flesh was the one to come. The Lord looked and he wanted that there was none to uphold. That's right. And the Bible tells me that his own arm, own arm. meaning he had to do it himself, yeah. brought salvation. Mm -hmm. Unto us. That's right. So the way of Jesus Christ is the right way. way. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you people should, amen, study and see what the word of God is saying. Yeah. Yeah, the word of God that's coming through the spirit to the church. Amen. You have to have an understanding. I know many people in the days of Noah. Mm-hmm. They had a problem with the plan that God had yeah. to save the people because it's going to rain. That's right. All right. Fire going to come this time. That's right. That's right. No more water, but fire going yeah. to come. That's right. I know you don't believe this, do you? Amen. All that didn't go into the ark with no one knows. The Bible said it perished. Yes. Every breathing thing that was up upon the earth that breathed air, they died. Yes. Except the one that were in the safety zone. Amen. And except you be born again of the water and of the spirit. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. you won't be able to, to take the ride you won't be able to escape the fire. Amen. Only those that look to Jesus is Christ now to be saved. Amen. I know men are going around and they're saying, go to the church of your choice. Yeah. When did man had a choice? Never. I see the word of God says Jesus Christ is the church. Yes, he is. So That's if right. you go to your choice, you're not going to be in God's church. That's right. You have to go to Jesus Christ, who mm -hmm. is the church. Mm -hmm. He's the one. Yes. Amen. Isn't that what it said, Rita? Amen. Colossians 1. He is the church now. That's right. Is that right? Amen. And if he is the church, you have to come in the church, just as Noah said. That's right. They had to come in the ark. That's right. And all that didn't go in, they perish. Amen. Everybody that won't come in by the plan of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ today, you're going to be lost. Don't perish. 
I don't care how great your edifice look. I don't care anything about that. No. That can't save you. No. Salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the only way because he is the church. That's right. Is that right? Amen. What is that, reader? <clears throat> Colossians 1 and 14. All right. In whom we have redemption. See, we have redemption only. This is only in Christ. Jesus. Amen. It's not in another. That's right. I know you said my preacher talk about Jesus Christ, but is he doing it according to the will of the Father? That's right. The Spirit. The Spirit. Are they doing it on their own? Yes. There's a way the Bible says seemeth, seemeth right, right to a man. Yes. But the end thereof are Ooh, the ways yeah. of death. That's right. It seems like you're going to the right church. Yeah. Building. Seem like you're doing everything right. Seem like you're a pretty decent person. But Jesus said, why call ye me Lord? Yeah. And do not the things I say. That's right. That's right. You, you have to do what the Lord Jesus said. And he said, take up your cross and follow me. That's what he said. Everybody have to do it. Amen. What the word say, read it. In whom we have redemption through his blood. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sin. You hear this? The only way you can have forgiveness of sin. Amen. You have to get in the body of Christ. That's right. This is a spirit, spiritual mystery here. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You don't go something naturally and open the door and walk in. This is a spiritual warfare. Yeah. You have to come in by the spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. Read the word, read Who it. is the image of the invisible God. He is the image the first, of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. Firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. Now all things were created by him. That are in heaven. What is in heaven? And in the earth. That's in the earth. Visible and invisible. Visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones. Whether they be thrones. Or dominions. Or dominions. Or principalities. Or principalities. Or powers. Or powers. All things were created by him. All things were created by, by him. And Who? for him. Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Amen. Where do we have a part in there? Mm -mm. What part for? was created for you? Nothing. Was it created because of you? No, no. All because of Jesus Christ. And, and you know Jesus Christ is God. Yeah, he is. Everything was created by God. That's right. Everything was created for God. Amen. He is the creator. Is that right? That's right. Amen. Amen. What did it say, reader? And he is before, all, excuse me, all things were created by him and for him. Everything was created by him and for him. And he is before all things. He is before all things. And by him, all things consist. Everything consists because of him. People, what you going to do to your little parts you say that belong to you? Don't have one. <laughs> I don't think you have it. No. It was here when you got here. That's right. And when you're gone, it's going to be here. Right here. Amen. It all belong to God. Yes. And he give it to whomsoever he will. Surely. Is that right? Amen. Amen. What is it, reader? And he is the head.